We're Seth and Natalia. We bought Windrose, a 38-foot 1977 custom Ingrid Atkins sailboat in Hawaii. We're working hard to restore her in preparation to untie from this island and sail the world. We wanted less things and we wanted more memories. So we traded traditional living in order to live tiny, untethered, and on top of this beautiful ocean. We are excited to share our journey with you so you can see our world alongside us. I don't even have words. I was just making a quesadilla here and I just got splashed. Oh, jeez, son of a gun! This is crazy! Woo! What's the plan? I don't know. Are we okay? Here, whoa! super wavy and we moved the boat and tied up the lines because the bow sprit was hitting this box and our neighbor's bow sprit hit the box so much that it just tore the whole thing off of the entire box so you can see we're trying to help it so the bow sprit oh my goodness this is bizarre it's like we're trying to sail it would almost be better if we were sailing but instead we're tied up. Try not to bang up against the dock. I mean, it's crazy. It took this whole like panel off of wood as well as it took off these cleats and 
on like this metal circle. The whole bracket, this whole metal thing came out of the side of his boat. It's insanity. So what they did is they tied lines here all the way to the back. And then same here, they tied it through back here and then again to the back. So this whole boat, all of the weight and like lines are right in that back area. But it is raging out here. All right, Seth has changed. <laughs> Your work boots are gonna be soaked. <laughs> Put this through there. Put it through here? Through here. He came over and helped us out. His boat is Ola Ola and super awesome guy. He was helping me because the bowsprit was trying to hit this box. So he was helping me hold it so that I didn't pinch my fingers as Seth was tying the lines. So thanks Mike, we appreciate you. There's Seth trying to tie up our boat. So gotta get to helping. But boy, this is crazy. Thanks Mike. The marina trying to help with that boat because that one just came undone. It's like our boat is trying to sail, but it's in the dock, so a little tilted. <laughs> you could like see this here because it probably won't show bad on film but it's crazy because it's so windy and the waves are so big that we're just like making sure everything's good but our neighbor's boats are good we checked on Kevin's boat we checked on Greg's boat Woo! this is crazy oh man I'm getting so this boat I'm really nervous about this boat though Boy, oh boy. I don't think I can push this catamaran, but man, this is gonna just get destroyed. Oh, it kills me. This boat, I'm afraid that's gonna break loose and hit our friend's Kevin's boat. I'm gonna check those lines. <laughs> Gotta put the camera down though before we check the lines or else the camera's gonna get destroyed. Huge swells. All right, now we're helping Greg's boat because unfortunately we started scraping the back. So this buoy ripped right off the dock, right off this box. So now we're gonna try to put this in between. That way I can't pop up just in case we can't monitor it. Um, yeah, it's hard to say it would pop up.
right, I am in for the night. <laughs> I gotta put all these lines away and tidy the boat because I made the mistake of leaving our companionway open when we were retying the lines. And as waves were coming over the side of the boat, they were splashing and salt water got in <laughs> on our floor and then tracked it with my feet. So I gotta wash the floor and then I gotta tidy up because it even splashed on some of our cushions. So I'm just gonna give everything a really nice wipe down and clean it up. Unfortunately, a lot of the boats here, nobody was here to tend to. So we ran around, we helped some of our neighbors' boats. Um, we couldn't get to every boat. There's too many boats here. Um, there was even one on the end next to one of our other neighbors' boats. It's kind of like an abandoned boat. We ran over there, added an extra line because I could just foresee that being an issue. And then unfortunately there's a catamaran at the end and it was just banging up against everything. It's right on the end. So it has like a ton of not only marks, but it just got chewed up. So gonna clean, call it a night <laughs> and just wash. We're gonna have to hose down the whole boat because it's just like salt water is everywhere. So life of owning a boat. So gotta clean gotta tidy and then I gotta clean myself because I feel like I just kept getting splashed today as we were doing the lines so I have salt water all up in my hair it feels so coarse <laughs> just like that the weather the rain the wind everything you can see it's just like a lake even over there with the little houses on the hill it's just so calm and peaceful I mean it's crazy to believe that just by having like a three-foot swell comes into the marina out of the ocean just demolishes boats like wrecks havoc like the neighbor's boat all of this stuff pulled off the side of his boat this catamaran has fiberglass just chewed up so it even took this like plastic off of the dock or rubber so nice to have a little bit of calmness again you can see this is just all rotted these actually came off and you can see these screws and these knobs were actually hitting here you can see the plastic kind of came off was hitting the catamaran so the catamaran actually just moved because it used to be here and they moved it back because as you can see it chewed up the whole side so unfortunately those screws were just hitting the fiberglass just constantly so it got so chewed up it was crazy I mean they've got fenders in now and they got bigger fenders they had small ones that really didn't do the job so it looks like they bought new ones. I mean, you can see all this wood is just, and the nails, like even this is just so damaged. Like a lot of wood rot. What's crazy is all the pieces came off and this whole piece just pulled off completely like it was just left in the water and the boat kind of was over there but you can even see here just wood rot so crazy thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't already subscribed make sure you subscribe so that you can catch our video next week see ya